No lie with Brian Tyler Cohen tweeted good morning. The only reason these three are on the Supreme Court is because Mitch McConnell gutted the filibuster to confirm him. Simone D. Sanders tweeted we never made it 25 years because of the 2013 Supreme Court decision in Shelby v. Holder. Today, he gives the speech meant to push and galvanize members of the U.S. Senate to act. What he and the VP are doing today is applying pressure and damp, it's important. Marky e. Elias tweeted we will appeal to the North Carolina Supreme Court. The fight for fair districts continues. Ari Berman tweeted here is ruling by panel of majority GOP judges upholding gerrymandered legislative maps in NC. It will be appealed to NC Supreme Court, but underscores need for urgent federal action on voting rights. Vice President Kamala Harris tweeted passing the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act and the Freedom to Vote Act is urgent. These bills represent the first real opportunity for voting rights since the Supreme Court gutted the Voting Rights Act a decade ago. We don't know when we'll have this opportunity again. Sheldon Whitehouse tweeted headed to the Senate floor to share evidence of corruption and partisanship surrounding the Supreme Court which the Presidential Commission ignored. Rex Chapman, jockey, tweeted Mitch McConnell seems very angry he has been called out for his racism. Remember when he talked about how proud he was to look President Obama in the eye and tell him he wouldn't fill a Supreme Court seat? Kamala Harris tweeted the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act and the Freedom to Vote Act represent the first real opportunity to secure the freedom to vote since the Supreme Court gutted the Voting Rights Act. We don't know when we'll have this opportunity again. The Senate must act now. Ari Berman tweeted it makes absolutely no sense why Mitch McConnell can confirm three Supreme Court justices for Trump with 51 votes to take away voting rights but it requires 60 votes for U.S. Senate to protect voting rights. Laura Bischoff tweeted breaking, Ohio Supreme Court votes 4-3 to three to strike down GOP-drawn legislative maps. Etch Bombard has the details. Democracy Docket tweeted, Police Light, Breaking. Supreme Court of Ohio strikes down the state's new legislative redistricting maps for being Republican gerrymanders that violate the state constitution. The court orders the maps to be redrawn in 10 days. More info to come. Robert Reich tweeted inconvenient, as in, blocking. A Supreme Court nominee, the release of the Mueller report, voting rights bills, clean energy investments, gun safety legislation, a five minimum wage, anti-corruption laws, what else is new? Marky e. Elias tweeted, Police light, breaking, Ohio Supreme Court strikes down state legislative districts as partisan gerrymanders. Big victory for an Elias Law Group, the National Redistricting Action Fund and the voters of Ohio. Taniel tweeted, The Ohio Supreme Court has struck down the GOP gerrymanders, with one GOP just deciding with the court's three dim justices, four to three. Elections matter, Dems won three of four justice elections in 2018-2020, including a 2018 sweep, enabling a reversal of the outcome from last decade. Nina Turner tweeted Ohioans voted for fair maps. I applaud the decision of the Ohio Supreme Court to uphold the law and strike down these maps. Sam Levine tweeted hugely consequential ruling, perhaps the most significant of the redistricting cycle so far. Ohio Republicans basically ignored a constitutional amendment voters adopted in 2015 requiring more fairness in drawing maps. Ohio Supreme Court today is stepping in to enforce it. HuffPost Politics tweeted the Ohio Supreme Court has declared newly drawn district maps that retain Republican supermajorities invalid and ordered them redrawn. Sam Levine tweeted the Ohio Supreme Court has struck down new maps for the state legislature, saying they were so skewed to benefit Republicans that they violated the state constitution. They